वन पी एम पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलकुम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय असमा हफीज फर्स्ट द हेडलाइन प्राइम मिनिस्टर इनाग्रेटेड द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ फाटा यूनिवर्सिटी इन पिशावर टूडे फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर से स्टेट बैंक ऑफ पाकिस्तान हैज रिसीव्ड टू बिलियन डॉलर्स ऑफ डिपॉजिट्स फ्रॉम द किंगडम ऑफ सऊदी अरेबिया प्रेजिडेंट हैज ट्रस्ट फॉर प्रोमोटिंग रिलीजियस टूरिज्म टू फॉस्टर पीस इन द वर्ल्ड इंडियन ट्रूप्स मार्टर्ड अ यूथ इन राजौरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन इंडियन इलीगली ऑक्यूपाइड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर टूडे एंड नाउ द न्यूज इन डिटेल Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif inaugurated the first phase of Fata University in Peshawar today. This is the first university of merged tribal districts which will provide latest education to the capable students of these districts. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif says government aims to fetch investment of billions of dollars into Pakistan's agriculture sector from the Gulf Cooperation Council countries under the supervision of Special Investment Facilitation Council for which the ground has been prepared. In a tweet he said GCC countries import food items and agriculture products worth 40 billion dollars annually. Prime Minister said in next 4 to 5 years there would be an additional investment of approximately 40 billion dollars creating 4 million new jobs. Finance Minister Isaac Dar says State Bank of Pakistan has received 2 billion dollars of deposits from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. In a televised message today he said the friendly country had made a commitment in this regard in the recent past. He said these deposits have enhanced the country's foreign exchange reserves from 9.67 billion dollars to 11.67 billion dollars. On behalf of the people and government of Pakistan, Finance Minister thanked Saudi leadership, especially King Salman bin Abdulaziz as Saud and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman as Saud for always standing by Pakistan in difficult times. Pakistan Stock Exchange is witnessing a surge in the 100 index in the aftermath of the deposit of 2 billion dollars received from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The 100 index has increased over 450 points during trading until now, which is being deemed as a positive trend expected to carry in the coming days as well. According to experts, successful finance policies of government and efforts of Finance Minister Isaac Dar in this regard are commendable that have ensured the deposit of 2 billion dollars from Saudi Arabia. President Arif Alvi has stressed for promoting religious tourism to reduce tension and foster peace in the world. Addressing the inaugural session of International Gandhara Symposium in Islamabad today, he said all the religions preach peace and we have to promote this message in order to bring cohesion and harmony in our societies. President emphasized that the world needs to shun the course of conflicts. Pakistan's ambassador to the United States Masood Khan has called for unity among Pakistani expatriates particularly living in the United States addressing 46th annual summer convention of association of physicians of Pakistani descent of North America at Dallas he said we are one nation and there should be no fissures or divisions between Pakistani American community Indian troops in their fresh act of state terrorism martyred one youth in Rajouri district in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir today. The youth was martyred during a siege and search operation in Noshera area of the district. India has released 73,418 cusic water from Ferozpur to River Satluj. According to spokesperson of Punjab Disaster Management Authority, this water will enter Pakistan through Ganda Singh Kasur in a few hours. World Population Day is being observed today. This year theme of the day is Unleashing the Power of Gender Equality, Uplifting the Voices of Women and Girls to Unlock Our World's Infinite Possibilities. In a message on the occasion, Shahbaz Sharif urged all stakeholders to invest in empowering communities by building their capacity through provision of better health and educational facilities and an enabling environment to unlock their potential. 
And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our burdens on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.